So in this session, let's write code for Tower of Annoyed. Right. So once we write the code, we'll dry run it. We'll try to see how exactly it is working for n is equal to two, n is equal to three, n is equal to four, and so on. Right. So hopefully things will get very very clear once we try and dry run as well. Okay. Let's write code. Tower. So I'm going to get input n and a. Let's me call it a, b, and c. Right. So A, B, and C are the name of the towers. Uh, so these are strings, and n is an an integer. So if so, I can take n is equal to zero as a base case as well, or n is equal to one as the base case. I'm just taking n is equal to one as the base case. So I'm going to say print move first disk. From a, sorry, to C, right? So we we'll just move that disk from A to C. Okay, perfect. Now we discussed if we are not at the base case, and we need to return, right? We are done. So if, the, if it's the base case, you just move that and you return. You don't come down. Okay. So I'm going to return from there. So call tower of annoy on n minus one. You move these from A to B using C. So B and C R role is reversed. So n minus one have moved from A to B. So the current situation is this, this. And this, okay. Now we are going to move this single disk to C from A. Okay. So similar print. Let me write it again. Print move. This is the nth disk, the largest disk. So move nth disk from. A to C, so the nth disk has been moved from A to C, and now the current situation now is this is empty. This has n minus one disks, and this has one large disk here. Okay, so now we need to move these n minus one. And they need to go from B using A to C. Right? That's what we need to do. Okay. So we need to move n minus one from B to C using A. Perfect. So let's run this. Let's start small. Right? Let's start from one. Source. Helper destination. So it's saying move the first disk from show source to destination, which is correct, right? That's what you need to do. Let's try for two. So for two, it's saying this is the situation. It's saying move first from S to H. Okay. This comes here, the smaller one. Second from S to D. Second goes here. Then first from H to D. Perfect. We are able to move two. Right? Two works. Now, what I want you to do is assume that two work. We already know that two disks are. Uh, we are able to move two disks. So just assume that two disks are going to work fine. If you are going to assume that. Let's see how three are going to work. Because you know how to move two disks, you can move these two here, and then you can move this large one here. And the large one doesn't disturb anything. It's like ground because it's at the bottom and it's the largest. Putting anything on above this is not going to be a problem. So you can move these two here as well because you already know how to move two disks. 
and we are able to move three. Using exactly the same thing, you'll be able to move four, and so on. That's the beauty of recursion. Right? While we were writing code, we didn't have to worry about how n minus one is going to work. We just assumed, and once we have written the code, it actually works beautifully. Right? For four, it's giving you the complete directions what to what you need to do. Please uh, try and write this code from scratch, and it will give you a lot of clarity on what's happening. And then do try to dry run for up to I would say four. Uh, because that will give you a sense of how exactly recursion is solving this particular problem. Okay, perfect. Uh, that's about it. Uh, please work on the assignments because those are the things, those are the questions, those are the problems, and that's the work that's going to give you the maximum confidence as well as the maximum knowledge. Right? Just watching me code is not going to work. What's going to work is you writing a lot of code. The more code you write, more confidence you'll feel, more problems you'll be able to solve, and like it's all about getting that feeling that I can write code for whatever problem comes my way, right? So solve a lot of problems. It's basically just math. The more problems we are going to solve, better we will feel about our concepts and our ability to solve new problems. Okay, perfect. Thank you.